Uh, excuse me, are you with the World Detective Organization? You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? We are. But who are you? Um, I'm with you. I think I'm also a Master Detective of the World Detective Organization. A boy like you? Master Detective of the WDO? It seems like it. Seems like it? Like hell, dumbass! Huh? A runt like you, a master detective? You're just shooting your mouth off. You look like a shriveled anteater. Anteater? What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. You wanna die right here, right now? Wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. I, I have proof that I'm a master detective. A letter from the World Detective Organization? It's real. There's no mistake about it. What? Are you serious? Looks like there's a reason behind this. Go ahead and tell us. I'll allow it. Right. Thank you. But there's really not much to explain. And that's what happened. Amnesia. Looks that way. I was hoping one of you would know who I am. Apparently not. No way. We're on the same team, but no one knows me? Then who am I? That's what I want to know. Besides, even if the letter is real, you may not be the right recipient. Why do you suspect me? There is a reason why. But first, do you know what the World Detective Organization is all about? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes. Sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Very well. I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. Listen up, the World Detective Organization is an extra-legal, extra-privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WDO. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Powers? They are supernatural powers used in investigation, known as forensic fortes. People who develop talents such as clairvoyance or mind reading, they train at the organization to harness these special powers, which aid in their investigations. Those who manage to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective deed. Which means, if you're a master detective, it should say so on your license. Detective deed? It's an identification card. Check your pockets. I don't have one. If you don't have a detective deed, you ain't one of us. Even if you got one, I'd suspect it's fake anyway. Oh, hold on! I'm not trying to trick anyone! Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? 
If you require he has some sort of proof, then the same would apply to everyone here. Huh? The hell did you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own, solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the tardy one as well. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. All the more reason due to this... perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. I'm Mayfex Logan. I'm from the detective branch in the eastern slums. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke, illegal immigrant. When I was a kid, I was in an upstanding home, living an upstanding life. My parents were lawyers who never tolerated injustice. They should have left well enough alone with that local mafioso. Because they went after him, they were murdered. Their necks were cut open, right in front of me. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself and jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my past and my home. I drifted to the slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now, thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But I also wanted revenge. I can't stand evil, but even if you ain't evil, I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Kill or be killed is my motto. He looks scary, but that's not all. I think there's a deep sadness within him. I can't share details about my forte, just know it's kind of like Radar. That's all you're going to tell us? You got a problem with that, you tiny runt? Not at all! You sure are a frail-looking kid, aren't you? And pale to boot, like disaster's got its claws on you. You sure nothing weird is haunting you? Way. <laughs> the detective's gotta be tough. How about a little training? First, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick, and scissors, and a fruit knife. No thanks. Don't be shy, runt. No, really, I'm fine. <laughs> Too bad. Young man. Who? Uh, me? That's right. Come here. Stand before me. Why? 
Uh, whoa. Huh? What's going on? I'm measuring you. Uh, um... <laughs> Stay still for just a second. I'll be quick. Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. My name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. Summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Hence, why my powers don't work on people smaller than me, or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. That sounds more like a preference than a condition. Clothes make a man. They reveal all about one's livelihood. Like skin worn over skin. That's what clothes are all about. Consider that when compared to bare skin, clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? Ghosts wear clothing because those clothes are a part of their identity. Now that you mention it... That's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective Melanie. Nice to meet you all. Zange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. Perhaps you expect an introduction, but I have nothing to say. Let the past melt like ice in an evening's drink. That's how I live my life. My forte is thartography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. That's all from me. There's no need for any further explanations. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. I'll go first. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me 
nature's mediator. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died, all cursed by a sunken ritual site. It was a once-in-a-century difficult case. The one who solved it was none other than myself. There wasn't much to it. The culprits were locals who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips sewn shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. That is one thing I have learned as a detective. Nature's mediator? He does look like a good detective. Though he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, but this is an emergency. My forte is... Animal Investigation. I can control animals as I wish, and recruit them from my inquiries. Quite fitting for the philanthropist that I am. Though useful in many ways, I mainly use it to gather intel. It allows me to survey a target while remaining undetected. As a basic rule, I can only control four-legged mammals. Less intelligent animals are easier to control. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now, because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. He really is impressive. That is all from me. With love, I yield to the next person. <laughs>